Hey, getting ready to go on another little camping trip. Right now we're packing. I'm just trying to make sure that all parties involved are bringing along their man pants this time. We have a defiant wiener dog. Wimbledon, come here. Well, Burton's being a good boy. Sit, sit. Oh, so good. Wimbledon, what have you been doing? What have you been doing? Wimbledon. Oh, just wanted to show you all my wood pile. I did that myself. We just videotaped a battle of the sexes where I saw that end of the log and Matt tried to axe through this end. And we raced to see who would win on videotape, but the videotape didn't record. Probably because Wimbledon probably didn't push the button right or something. So I just wanted to show you the results of that. Me with the saw, chopped through this little bad boy. This one, not quite through yet, so in the battle of sexes with saw versus axe. Matt, tell him who won. Ladies win. Ladies win. Saws win. <laughs> you're going to chunk out. Start off thin and then you can get better angles. And then you stick it in there a little bit. And then once you get it kind of stuck in there, then you can go at it like a banshee. And then you just keep working at it. This log is a little bit awkwardly shaped because it's like a kind of Kind of pointed on both ends. Now it's starting to split on both sides, and you just keep working it in there. Until you lose your axe head inside. And you try and just keep hitting it. There. Not very good uh, for our first one, but. This wood is really hard on the inside, so it takes a couple chips in order to get it split in half. But these are still pretty good because they have that really hard wood inside. Kinda. There! Ta-da! What? If there was a map for this on my fitness pal, which I bet there isn't, or a an exercise. You'll probably 
what I'd be like. 3,927 calories. Oh, hey, who knew? You can't add chopping wood to your My Fitness Pal. 130 calories. Hi! It's once again fire starting time, and you know who your expert is in this group. Okay, first we're gonna start with a tiki ball. Maybe we'll call that a tiki ball from now on. We got the matches again. And then, Matt's got me the sticks here. So, there's my ball in there. And the stick. I'm gonna break it up and build a little fire nest around my cotton ball. Tiki ball. A tiki ball. Da -da -da -da. Oh. And Matt brought in some pine needles. In case you guys have not seen pine needles go up in flames once they're dry like this, until you see that, you will understand why forest fires happen. So I'm going to stick some in there. I'm going to show you what happens when I start this to those, those things. Because it's uh, actually kind of scary. It's amazing that there's still woods left, actually. All right, this is how forest fires are made. I'm gonna get my tiki there. See that go there? Yeah. Oh my god! And that is what happens when you light pine needles on fire. Not a pretty picture. I think I smothered out my cotton ball. Some of this stuff. Yeah, there we go. Pretty water. dangerous. Just gonna cuddle that fire a little bit till it gets going. Well, we're all cozy up in our tent. Matt's reading some OK magazine that I was completely tricked by, I will say. Big wedding for Rob and Kristen? No, no, they're just thinking about it. Nice trip, though. Thought I was getting in on the news that nobody else had. Then I got my toasty feet right here. In front of the fire. Just not roasting on an open fire. Actually, we got Mannheim going in the background. Yep, I'll snuggle it in. It's about 4, 3.30, maybe. 3, I don't know. We are got a bunch of wood chopped up for the day, night, probably through most of tomorrow. And we brought along a fake log. One of those five-hour ones, because I think we're going to put that in when we go to sleep, so then it'll stay warm in here for most of the night. So... Anyway, cross your fingers, maybe we'll have some snow. Oh, somebody's tired. Aloha. We got our fire restoked. Now I'm just waiting for the tent to get warm so we can get out and make some oatmeal or eggs or something good and change clothes and stuff. There's no way I'm doing it when it's this cold in here. Let's let's look at my cellular device and see how cold it is. In Des Moines it's 30 degrees. We're like in Boone so that's like 27 degrees out. And I'm actually pretty toasty except for when I get exposed to the cold air. So. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty warm in here soon.
like seven o'clock this lovely Saturday morning and we've already gathered a bunch of wood to cut today but we're gonna go on a little walk this morning and check out maybe some animals or something um, weird note lots of people keep just driving through here it's like December in the campground and People just like drive through on their Sunday drive non-stop, so it's kind of interesting. But anyway, I don't know what Matt's doing in there, but we're going to go on a walk. Oh, hey, Brayden. Oh look guys, Satan was here. Well, wonder if you liked the place. I know I sure do. Oh, dogs know where they're going. <laughs> oh, wrong way. <laughs> that way looks way easier. Hi, Matt. Hi. <laughs> In case you can't see it down there, there's a picnic table where we were at earlier. Yeah, that's down. There are hills in Iowa. That, uh, I was starting to get a little cold down there, but. Now that we're back up at the top and hot, I sucked balls. Matt, walking in the sunlight with the dogs. So, Matt and I have decided that we're gonna do another episode of uh, Saw vs. Axe today. We got a couple logs picked out for your enjoyment. Uh, we're going to give Matt a choice when we get back to the campsite that he can have a little bit, since Axe lost yesterday, he can have a little bit skinnier log for competition today than the Saw log. Um, so he can choose handicap or we can get two of the same size logs and he can choose no handicap but since he lost yesterday we'll let him decide oh, we'll have you know he did bring his man pants this time oh. yeah he did it's been almost 24 hours and we've not had one episode of man tantrum 